fizzy coding and this video is the continuation part of the last video if you didn't watch that then make sure to go there and watch it but if you're coming from there then welcome and uh, so as i showed you earlier that you know uh, in that video we removed the index.php file from our url and we were able to achieve this thing right we were able to access our controller and methods without using the index.php file but if i go here and if i type index.php and then if you if i click enter then you see that you know it's still working but ideally it should work but we do not want that we do not want our users or the search engines to uh, get confused uh, through the two urls right so what we want if someone is typing this thing then they should be able to they should be able to redirect back to this url and that's what we going to do next right so uh, let me just recap about the steps which we did uh, in order to get rid of the index.php from the url and achieving this url so we edited the conf file here we have to add the base url and uh, uh, remove the index.php from the index page and we have to create the dot stxs file where we have to type this code and then we also have to enable the rewrite uh, module or rule for our apache uh, of our apache server and then we have to change the config of our apache uh, where what we did we uh, went to the configuration of apache the directory where the apache installed and where and then what we did we changed the configuration of our apache and there we added this rule we basically updated this rule and it was earlier it was none and then we made it all right and uh, yep and after that what we did we did the uh, config test and we also reloaded our server and after that we were able to remove the index.php from the url perfect uh, right okay and now in order to do this thing it's very simple we just have to add a simple line over here in our uh, .xtxs file and what that line is i'll be typing over here and i'll be providing the updated .htaccess file in the comment in the in the description section right so make sure to check that and update your stxs file with this and then you'll be able to do it right so i will just type that line over here i'll basically i'll paste it. basically this is the rewrite rule which we are uh, adding in our uh, stxs file and it says that if a url is starting with index.php right then just remove it okay so this is the first rule which we are adding in our .stxs file and after that here look that's where it gets interesting and here it says that if there is nothing in the url then internally append index.php inside and that's why it works right so i updated the stxs file and now if i go here and if i hit enter then you see it is redirecting us to this url and see how beautiful it looks right to our visitors to our users we do not want them to type index.php because it's not user friendly right so i can just go ahead and uh, let's say let me create uh, another mapping here and let's call it uh, let's call it index hello just to see if it's working right and it's using the welcome hello view and uh, I'll, I'll call it uh, index hello to code igniter i don't know it makes no sense but still uh, mm, okay so this is the mapping and i'll go and paste it over here you see it's working right you can see index hello to code igniter and uh, 
if I go over here and I type index.php and then bam it redirected us to index hello so I really hope that this was helpful to you and you learned something out of this video and in order to uh, and as a kind gesture and, and to appreciate it please subscribe because it really really encourages me to create more helpful videos uh, to my viewers and uh, when you when it works for you I, f I feel really good so i'm really looking forward to creating more videos and i'll be reading your comments too and if you need any help and if you want me to create a video or something please feel free to do that i'll be happily doing that thank you so much